Hello and welcome. In today's video, we're going to look at Bamboo Lab A1 upgrades. At number one, we have E3D's Obsidian High Flow Hot End. This hot end is designed to outlast your hardened steel nozzles. This premium hot end is an official collaboration between E3D and Bamboo Labs. The key features of High Flow Obsidian Hot End is good abrasion resistance. It allows you to work with some of the toughest filaments with ease. Now, there are some filaments that will be somewhat troublesome for most nozzles, and that is because of the additives they consist of. But Obsidian Hot End is designed to outperform other hardened nozzles, and that is the price you pay for the longevity of one nozzle. Other features include a significant speed boost. Now, this is achieved in two ways. First, the nozzle consists of high flow insert, which splits the filament path into four channels instead of one. The second, your slicer settings. E3D has created a slicer profile to be used with the Obsidian Hot End. I'll leave the link in the description. One problem I have is that the hot ends I usually use will have a buildup of plastic. To ensure it doesn't interfere with the quality of my prints, these nozzles need to be maintained. The benefit of E3D's Obsidian Hot End is that it is equipped with a non-stick E3DLC coating that reduces buildup on the nozzle and makes it easier to clean. This also limits the amount of defects you'd see in your prints. Coating makes Obsidian nozzles a lot harder than other nozzles on the market, which significantly increases its lifespan. They're available in 0.4mm and 0.6mm nozzle sizes. Now, let me quickly show you how to install this nozzle and do a quick comparison between Bamboo's hardened nozzle and E3D's. First, make sure the printer is off, and if you just recently finished a print, make sure that the hot end cool down enough that it will be cool to the touch. Remove the tool head cover by pressing down on the bottom right tab, remove the hot end sock and open up the clasp. Remove the existing hot end. Repeat these steps backwards to install your new E3D Obsidian nozzle. Great, now we're ready to do a comparison between Obsidian Nozzle and Bamboo Labs Hardened Steel. With the slicer settings mentioned earlier, I was able to print this buggy. I guess that's the E3D's version of a Benchy. Both prints came out almost identical, but this one took 1 hour and 30, this took 2 hours to print. I certainly cannot tell a difference, they look both the same. Philly, link down in the description if you'd like to purchase this nozzle. And number 2, we have a cooling fan for your A1 and A1 Mini. As the name suggests, its job is to cool your extruder motor. It also comes with RGB lighting that will act as an indicator for how far your print has progressed, among other notices. Inside the packaging, you'll find everything you need to connect it to your printer. I also like the fact that they print some of their parts instead of using your typical injection molding. We'll begin by adding protective pads to the nozzle lights and removing four screws underneath a part cooling fan. Install the nozzle lights using provided screws. Clip the cooling fan as shown onto your tool head. For this part, you'll have to remove the four screws that hold the USB cable in place. Install the power tap addition by sliding it over the USB housing. Install the controller module cover by securing it using screws provided. Plug the USB-C back in and secure these longer screws. Now connect the fan's two-pin connector to the two-pin port as shown in the video. Connect the RGB light connector for the fan port. Now you have to route the nozzle light wires into the cable guide slot and secure it by clipping it onto the tool head as shown. Then connect nozzle light lead to control module. Now once the printer is on and the device is powered on, you'll have to connect to its Wi-Fi and visit this website to continue with the installation. Once you follow all the protocols, you're able to then select the colors for your cooler fan and the nozzle lights. As mentioned previously, this upgrade will cool down your extruder motor, which in turn prolongs its lifespan and ensures a smooth operation. And it also acts as an indicator for what your printer is doing via the different colors displayed by the RGB lights found inside the fan casing. The nozzle lights also allow you to inspect and monitor your print more clearly if you're away from your printer. A really great addition to your A1 printer. At number 3, we have a Panda Branch Plus, which is all-in-one power management hub that comes with 10 independent controls. Switchable channels that include 5 3mm microfit connectors and 5 Type-C USB ports, all powered by 24 volts adapter. Each channel can be controlled via a web UI, similar to the one from the cooler fan. BQ hasn't included a case for this board, but you could print one from the link down in the description. This case can be mounted two ways. One is to screw it against one of the rails of the A1, 
which I decided against. Second way is clipping it using the big C clamp that latches onto the right hand rail of your A1 and has room to accommodate the Panda Branch Plus. The board sits very neatly inside the casing, which you'll need to secure using some screws provided. Then slide the branch plus inside the C-clamps notch and secure it using thumb screw. Now let's power on the device and access the web UI mentioned. Here you can see all ports are online and using your phone or a computer, you can remotely turn on or off any device currently plugged into the Panda Branch Plus. One big benefit of having this Panda Branch Plus is that it allows you to expand all sorts of accessories that you want to install for your A1 printer. And number four, we have Panda Nomi 3D. Now this is a fun and functional upgrade for your A1. Inside the packaging, you'll find a rubber duck. Uh an LED screen, cables to turn on the device, this 4-pin to 2-pin microfit adapter so you can power Panda Nomi using Panda Branch Plus. See, it's all coming together. In the other package, you'll have a shell that will accommodate the LED screen and also a magnifying lens that gives the LED screen the 3D effect. A locking tab for the shell that secures the LED screen in place. Alright, let's install this by turning off the printer and removing the existing cover. Put the magnifying glass and the LED screen into the shell and secure it using the back piece. Now, to power on the device, I will use the lead coming out of the cooler fan as it's already conveniently nearby. You'll be met with this QR message that asks you to scan it so you can finalize the installation and bind the Panda Nomi to your printer. Once that's done, you can customize Panda Nomi 3D using your own custom GIFs or change colors of the existing preset GIFs. Panda Nomi 3D comes equipped with the entire library of GIFs that will showcase what your printer is currently doing. And I gotta say, some of them are really cute. I really like this GIF. When the printer is calibrating, Panda Nomi is squinting its eyes. At number 5, we have a pretty simple yet effective upgrade for your Bamboo Lab A1. And not only is it a neat tool to have around your workshop, your fingers will thank you. This tool is designed to do one job, and that is to remove your PTFE tubes for when you're doing some maintenance on your printer. The tool snaps around the filament hub and the notch of the PTFE hangs onto PTFE tube, and then using push motion, disconnects PTFE tube from the filament hub. Very nice and simple. And number six, we have Panda Aura, which again acts as both fun and functional upgrade to your A1. A massive thank you to BigQ for sending me all these gadgets. It's been a fun experience upgrading my printer. The product is simple yet effective. It's an acrylic board that has LED lights wrapped around that also comes with a speaker that audibly notifies you when there's something wrong with the printer. As always, turn the printer off and lift it carefully on an angle and remove the screws shown on the diagram. Put the printer away carefully and place Panda Aura where the printer was. You'll need to now secure Panda Aura to your printer using provided screws. It helped me to slide the printer a bit forward, just enough to see where the screw holes were so I can secure the gadget. Now, for the speaker, you'll need to install this magnet piece that comes with double-sided tape, which you can then position on the back side of your printer. I managed to connect the speaker to one of the microfit connections on the Panda Branch Plus. And now it is time to see how all these upgrades look on your A1. I don't know what it is about RGB lights, but it definitely adds a lot of fun to your surroundings. A lot of these upgrades are currently on Black Friday sale, so take advantage right now by following the links down in the description. Note, I'll earn a small commission if you do decide to purchase any of these products. Let me know down in the comments which of these you think is a must for your A1. I personally love Panda Nomi 3D, it just adds a lot of character to your printer. Again, a big thank you to E3D and BigQ for sending me this product. I'll see you all in the next one.